Afghanistan, first US casualties widow says I can't stop thinking about those Afghan children. Shannon Span, the widow of a fellow CIA officer who was the first American service member to be killed in combat in Afghanistan soon after the 9-11 terrorist attacks, also reflected on children and women she met in the Middle Eastern nation during the US intervention and what their lives will look like with the Taliban back in power. The Hamid Karzai International Airport outside of Kabul fell into chaos as the Taliban seized the city, with Afghans and people from foreign nations, including US citizens, flooding the site to escape the country. The mayhem led to several deaths. Video showed people clinging onto aircraft, and human remains were found in the wheel well of the US military plane. In the Taliban's first news conference in Kabul, spokesperson Zabi Halimujanath said Afghans who helped the US would not face retaliation and that women would have their rights guaranteed within the framework of Sharia. Such commitments, if followed through, would be a significant break from the Taliban that controlled the Afghanistan prior to the US intervention, though there have already been reports of executions and forced marriages. Believing that the Taliban is painting a false narrative as killings continue, Span reflected on women and children she met in Afghanistan soon after the US entered Afghanistan. She described meeting young children, the same ages as her children, who she met in an orphanage during a 2002 trip to Afghanistan for a ceremony honoring her late husband. I can't stop thinking this week about those children she continued. Now those children are in their 20s and 30s, like my children are. What will their life look like now? On the same trip, Span said she was able to join a women's council with multi-generational women. President Biden said Monday during an address that he stood behind his decision to withdraw U.S. troops from Afghanistan, even though the Taliban swept through the nation. We utterly failed at keeping people bigger than the problem, Span continued. We prioritized a narrow subset of a problem over all of those people, Span said. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.